Today I'm going to be doing a demo with a pretty classic piece of kit that we know has been around um, at least since uh, Lawrence Bragg used it in the early 60s and probably even a bit longer than that. Um, so it's up there, which means I'm going to have to get my, uh, get my ladder out. Um, so while I do that, have a look at the archive. Here's a real big pot of sand. It's behaving like a solid. I've got two balls resting on it quite heavily. They're really heavy balls. And as you can see at the moment, it's quite solid, about to be fluidized. Strange things happen. We now have a duck. If in fact you could do this under the Sahara Desert, you could float boats across the Sahara Desert. If only we could get enough air blowing up under the Sahara, we could sail across it in the Queen Mary and we'd have a real ship of the desert instead of having to fall back on a camel. Okay, this is it. This is called a uh, fluidized bed. Um, and as you can see, it's just a little tray with a few kilos of really fine sand in it. Um, there's one more thing I need to make this work, and that's some air. Uh, I don't think I've got quite enough in here, so I need to go and get some more. Okay, so that's everything set up. Uh, let's have a bit of a tidy up, get these out of the way so they're not distracting. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is to, um, is to pass compressed air from the cylinder up through the sand from underneath. Um, so let's get the air turned on. And you should see pretty much straight away that, that the the sand, first of all, kind of inflates the, so the air rather, inflates the sand. It's already gone up an inch or so. But more than that, it's doing something pretty funny. It's kind of turning it, basically turning it into a liquid. So it will slosh around all over the place. This process is called uh, fluidization. Um, and to show you that it is a lot like a fluid, you can orb things around. It's really nice. You can see the, uh, you can see the, the ripples moving out, just like on the surface of a pond. It's beautiful. Chuck a few ducks in there, see how they get on. They tend to capsize, yeah, there we go. A bit of a boat, give the whole thing a bit of a stir. <laughs> so what's going on here is that as the air bubbles up through the sand, it sort of gets in between all the sand particles and kind of, um, stops them sticking to each other and, and just sort of lubricates the whole, the, whole, uh, the whole mixture. So they're able to flow, the sand particles are able to flow over each other, interspersed with the air. Um, and so the whole lot behaves like, like this two-part, um, two-component fluid. Oh, yeah, sufficiently like a fluid that the boat has capsized. I don't think any of these things are very, really very watertight. This is now completely full of sand. Um, so the, the, way, the way that we've used the fluidized bed at the RI over the years is quite often to sort of make an analogy between, um, between a, uh, a solid melting into a liquid. It's a slightly stretched analogy, I think, in the, the sand, if I just turn this off. The sand, when it's still, isn't a great analogy for, uh, for a real solid. It's not really a great analogy for anything except, except sand, to be honest. So you need to be a bit careful how we use that analogy, but um, uh, as long as we are careful, I think it's worth doing, and it's just a lot of fun to play with, so uh, I'm gonna turn it back on again. <laughs> See how long I can keep my boat afloat. Yeah, it's not, it's not very good for asthmatics. <laughs> So there you go, that's a, sort of a solid, behaving a lot like a fluid. 